Hey guys! So today you and I are going to talk about being outspoken. So let's get, get into so let's get into it. So the question in question was pretty much that. Frederick, would you say that a software engineering tech lead should be outspoken? Well, uh, so I think that any good leader uh, should lead by example, and that's that's basically my entire thought on it. So what? When someone says being outspoken, I don't think that that necessarily means that you should be outspoken about every little thing, because technically, for me at the very least, uh, there's a difference between just speaking your mind and being helpful, or having like actually benefiting, you know, with your words. There's another right, great saying. What is it they say? Don't speak unless you have something pleasant to say. I don't think that we should go that far, but I think that you should, as a, any good leader, to think about it. You should know the people that you deal with and understand how to communicate effectively. That's what I think that you should be doing, and that ties into leading by example. So, for example, if you want your team to follow certain practices and principles, then as a good leader it's important for you to sort of embody those qualities a little bit because it does not do if for a classic one is you might be super super strongly opinionated about something and then you might not be open to improving things that you are weak in as a classic defense mechanism where you perceive yourself as being the leader and you create this aura where you can never be wrong and everybody else can but everybody else can be and that doesn't breathe a lot of trust and commitment between you and the people that you're supposed to be the tech lead of. And so, for example, if you want to see unit testing in your code, then write unit tests. If you want to see people make quality code reviews, then do quality code reviews. If you want to see people pick up, you know, work right to left or like do these sorts of things that might not come so organically or you want them to collaborate or things like that, you have to put your foot forward because at least what I believe is that being a good leader is it's it's it has a lot to do with putting sticking your own neck out and seeing other pe and letting other people see that you are willing to put yourself a little bit out there so that things can move in a better direction. And that's a very different thing in my opinion about being and then you know being outspoken because you need to communicate your thoughts and feelings and be good at holding a dialogue with people because the 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 reality is that even if you have the most inclusive environment, you have everybody sort of just always on the same page and so forth, you are the tech lead for a reason. Every single leader, I argue at the very least, every f functioning leadership structure has someone where there is you have final say on some on some topics. Just because you never use that power or if you want to run everything as a democracy that's absolutely fine but you're still considered to be the leader and that means that just it's almost inbred in us as a species people follow your example to a certain degree I mean it's not necessarily everybody's gonna do you know it's not monkey see monkey do but your actions and the way that you behave sets the tone for other people it's the same thing as the software developers but it becomes it, it because you have the position it becomes exponentially worse because the higher the uh, if your leadership is a poor reflection on you as a character it cascades to other people because they view you as the leader and so for what I suggest to you, as I said, is to effectively work work on your communication styles. So something that I truly believe is more it's more appropriate than saying that you're going to be outspoken is that you formulate an understanding of, and that sort of requires a little bit of soul searching, right? I would say, you have to figure out whether or not you have a good enough understanding of the sort of goals that you want to achieve within the team. You also have to understand what the goals and ideas and thoughts and so forth are of the people that you're supposed to be leading and you need to figure out whether or not you should have an opinion on something and when to have an opinion about certain things and when to let other people make the decision for you. When to apply basically because you 
very quickly as a tech lead gets you get some level of authority immediately your 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 voice carries a little bit more weight just as any manager's voice carries a little bit, little bit of more weight in most conversations you have to be humble in front of that and understand if for example if you are too present and always making all the decisions and that actually weakens the rest of the team because now none of them can feel like it, that they can make any decisions then maybe you should shut up a few times and see what happens or encourage other people which I think is even better to say that all right I will speak last and now one of you guys tell me first what you think because all of a sudden you're not speaking first which means that they don't fall in line behind you they have to actually have an opinion on themselves and that coaching element and getting to know the people that you work with well enough to understand sort of how to structure your communication and how to as I said lead by example and build people up so that the overall team's goals and the people within it become stronger that's the key thing and that's not just being outspoken that is being a very good coach and for me what I uh, what I argue is uh, to lead by example and that requires you to sort of really soul search a little bit and see whether or not you can make these sorts of things happen because outspoken I mean speaking your mind that's uh, that, like that's the basics of leadership if you're not speaking if you're not expressing yourself or making you know making people align in in some format or communicating efficiently it's kind of hard to lead people whatsoever so what i want you to take away from this is that uh, to a point i can agree that a tech lead should be outspoken but i think that it's more important to as i said lead by example like try to embody be the change you want to see in other people that type of deal and to be a good coach and that means that sometimes you have to take the lead and be outspoken and express your thoughts and feelings on something because maybe you are the expert or maybe you need to need something or some effect has to take place but in sometimes it's better for you to just take, take a step back not really speak your mind but encourage others to speak their minds because you might have identified that you have a few people in the group who either don't really express themselves or they feel intimidated or maybe they are like a little bit laid back or like there are all these types of things that can go on right where the this is where the emotional intelligence and social skills uh, soft skills and so forth come into play you have to play people a little bit by the uh, by ear and sort of figure out what people are you dealing with and how do you build up them so that the overall team becomes stronger for it and that requires perception and applying a fair bit of wisdom uh, as opposed to just being outspoken have a great day